Uh, today is our opening. It's a grand opening that we've uh, organised for all the club's uh, members, for all the players and for all the families and friends and supporters that have helped us over the years uh, to get to this point today. Uh, they've come here to celebrate the opening of uh, a fantastic facility. Uh, our previous home, uh, when we started initially in Willingale Road in Loughton, was very poor. The, the facilities and the changing facilities were virtually non-existent, consistently flooding, and it just wasn't a nice environment for young children to play football. And uh, we progressed from there onto you know, the local Metropolitan Police Club. Uh, but we were fortunate enough to get some Football Foundation funding, along with our partners, uh, the Grange Farm Trust, to develop and produce and deliver a first-class football facility like this. And obviously it's a, a hugely important facility in this region. The Football Foundation has helped support and, and give a huge injection to the, I think it was £2 million that they've had to raise uh, to make it happen. And it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful building. It's a fantastic position. And the facilities for the Colbert Royals and football in this, this area are, have improved dramatically uh, by its presence. There's no question that the, the Football Foundation's work in terms of improving grassroots sports uh, is essential you know uh, more and more we see the need to improve facilities to improve pitches um, we're not blessed with the best weather here in the UK so as soon as it turns rainy pitches end up getting waterlogged they get ruined and kids can't get out there and play and train if the kids aren't training and playing all year round how are we going to improve the standard of our national team and the standard of our national leagues as well uh, with the Football Foundation's help you know this sort of facility can be launched and it safeguards the future of football in this country. It's absolutely imperative that they carry on doing the work they're doing and that they are applauded and lauded for the work they're doing because I think it's just remarkable. I went to school very close to this ground and if this had existed when I was here, there's no question I would have been here day in, day out, um, enjoying the facilities and improving my ability. This is going to have a, a fantastic impact on football development uh, in Essex and particularly Epping Forest. Um, Colbrook Royals are a... Now Charter Standard Community Club, 23 teams um, developing football from uh, young players from the ages of uh, seven all the way up to adults, girls and disability football as well. So it's really going to provide a, a fan fantastic impetus for the local community to, to continue to develop football from a fantastic facility that they've got here now. Um, to the club, it, it means a tremendous amount because it actually brings them to one site. They're training on a number of sites in the local area and that's part of the reason they were actually prioritised by the county FA and to be based here and were prioritised by the local authority and how they attracted some of the partnership 106 money to this site. So for the club it's huge, it just means that they can grow from a, I think originally in the development plan it was a 12 team club to 40 teams in the next well, five years of the development plan. So they've already done one year, they're doing really well. Um, you can see by the number of activities that's going on here that they're well on their way to their target. We've got this fantastic facility for the young local people. Uh, the people of Bethnal Green in East London would have been screaming for something like this 25 years ago. 